messed up, I messed up, I messed up. All that work for nothing. <laughs> did daddy mess up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're wondering what I did, is bad. Apparently I managed to cut the angle on the wrong side. How's a commentary gonna fit in a four inch box? Ay, ay, ay. That whole epic first part, gone. The bevel was supposed to go on the small side. So now I gotta take the bigger board, have to plane down an eighth inch of veneer on both sides, and then cut the pieces. So we're just gonna go to it. Roll the voiceover. So we make mistakes all the time, every day. I make mistakes in every single project that I do. <coughs> but it gets a question going in my mind. We always hear that God does not make mistakes, that he made you exactly how he wanted you to be. Now it's true that God does not make mistakes, but is the latter statement true? Are we God's masterpiece? I often hear people answer by saying that when God made mankind, it was very good. I do not disagree with this, but it doesn't really answer our question in our time. Everything was different in the garden. The lion laid with the lamb. The T-Rex played with the bronchiosaurus. God made Adam and Eve in his image, and it was good. It was perfect. But everything changed one day. Adam and Eve disobeyed God. They rebelled. They sinned. Sin has destroyed our world, and things are no longer perfect. What was once good is now corrupt. And this has plagued all of humanity, every single person. So now we have death and decay, diseases and suffering. So I believe the question needs to be asked again. Are we still God's masterpiece? Think about it. Every day people are born with problems or diseases or they die before birth. Is that a picture of a masterpiece? But we don't say those people are less human because they're not. We are all equal. So the issue goes far deeper than just physical problems. It is spiritual. It has to do with our soul. All have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. And so though sin causes death and decay to us physically, it has also caused spiritual problems for us all. We were dead in our trespasses and sins. All of us have disobeyed. All of us have rebelled. All of us have sinned. How could we be his masterpiece when we no longer reflect his goodness, holiness, and truth? We still bear the image of God, but that image is marred by sin. Have we become a mistake? Are we no longer God's masterpiece? How could we be? How could I be a masterpiece with all that I have done? And yet, David says, For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. God has intricately formed us all. By his hand we are formed, and by his breath we live. James tells us that we have been made in the likeness of God. We are still made in the image of God, but we still have this cloud of sin upon us. And that's where grace comes in. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, so that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Though we are sinful, he is not. He paid the cost. His life for ours. All we need to do is surrender to him. Under all the red of this sin, we don't shine as a masterpiece. But where Christ's blood ran red, we were washed white. Though sin has left a crimson stain, we are washed as white as snow. We are like a rough piece of wood, but God is the craftsman and he chisels away our hard hearts. He planes our sin away. He transforms us into the piece he intended us to be. He is the potter and we are the clay. But it is only through Christ, it is only by his perfect life and his sacrificial death that we can be made new. And God will transform us into the glorious image of his son. Though our sin is deep, his grace is more.
So are we a masterpiece? Or are we a mistake? We have made a mess of our lives. But it is only through the transforming power of God that we can be made new. So yes, we are a masterpiece. But only through Christ's work will it ever show. Surrender to Him. Let Him chip away your hard heart. Let Him wash away your scarlet sin. Let Him be the craftsman who will make you into the masterpiece He wants you to be. Surrender. Believe. it is. I hope that you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making this project. I think it turned out really well. Better than I expected it to. And though I made mistakes along the way, the end product turned out pretty well. But that's the difference between me and God. I'm going to make mistakes as I go. And in the end, it may turn out or it may not turn out. Philippians tells us that when God starts that work in us, he will bring it to completion. And our finished end will be perfect and it will be glorious. Subscribe to the channel and like this video. And if you got an idea for another video or another build project that I should do, drop it down in the comments. Check out one of these other two videos. I recommend that you watch the one where I casted a cross out of brass. Make sure that you surrender to God each and every day while he transforms you into his masterpiece. And part of that journey is knowing the word, doing the word, and sharing the word. But as always, we do it in love.